Hi, Aaron Stonebeat back again and this time I'll be trying to explain something about the use of switches in electric guitars. One of the simplest guitars around is the Fender Telecaster. Featuring two pickups, a three-way switch and master volume and tone control. Being simple as it may, the various types of switches used in these guitars may cause some headache. A typical Telecaster switch would look something like this. It has two rows of four connectors on either side. Each row has a point denoted C for common which contacts the other three points successively depending on the position of the switch. When watched from the bottom, a schematic view of the switch might look something like the diagram on the right. The row facing you in the picture corresponding to the right column in the diagram. This is what the switch does when operated. First position, second position, and third position. This in itself is simple enough, but some manufacturers offer switches which vary just so slightly from the original fender type. Have a close look and imagine what would happen if you do not know exactly which is which on your switch. It probably feel like Houston, come in Houston, we have a problem. To make things worse, there is another range of switches which looks like this. It does exactly the same thing, but the connections are arranged differently. Usually it's like this. One, two, three, and they're common, and then the other common and it's one, two, and three. But it also may be like this. Or like this. Or like this. It even may only have seven connections, in which case there is only one common connector. And all these switches will do just fine in wiring up your traditional Telecaster. Now, to handle this confusing collection of arrangements, I decided to draw all my three-way switches in this way. I'd advise anybody who does some work on guitars now and then to spend a few bucks and get hold of a multimeter. Within a minute, you'll know which is which on your switch. And to summarize it again, this is what the switch does. Position 1, position 2, and position 3. So now we know how our switch works, we can start hooking up the guitar. First, we have our two pickups. Let's start just for the sake of drawing the diagram by connecting both pickups to ground. Then we can bring in our switch and we connect each of the hot wires from the pickups to one of the commons. Now points 2 and 3 on the left side are connected to points 1 and 2 on the right side. And then we basically have our hot output lead. Finally we add our module for tone and volume control. If this is not clear to you, check my previous movie. There's your traditional values for potentiometers and capacitor. And there's an alternative way to hook up the switch. It will do exactly the same thing, but it will work with a 7-point switch 
a switch that has only one common. There you have it. I hope my English is clear enough for you all. I hope I didn't confuse you too much. And next time I'll discuss the typical wiring for Les Pauls and SG guitars. Thank you.